Chris. Duncan. Okay. Good to see you. You too. Here we are in this lovely Arno Clark warehouse for a bit of a challenge. So Chris, we have a mysterious envelope in front of us here and the best thing to do is to open it and have a little look at what's inside. I think this is going to be our challenge. Okay. Okay, you ready for this? I am. Welcome to the stick or swap challenge. You both have been given £19,000 to purchase a car of your choice from the Arno Clark website. That's the average cost of a car in the UK just now. We'll have 15 minutes to browse arnoclark.com and select the car that we want. Once you have both selected the car, it will be delivered and you will have a chance to inspect them and take them out through the roads of the city streets and on the motorways, which should be good fun, speed mm -hmm. limit only. At the end of the challenge, you'll decide whether you prefer your car or you want to swap with the other stick or swap challenge. So good luck is what it says there. For £19,000, I'm pretty sure there'll be a That's big pretty selection. generous. That's yeah. pretty generous, isn't it? It is. Do we get to keep the change? I think I've got something in my mind for what I want, have you? Yeah, I think I do, but I'll have to check out the website and see. Well, let's but, yeah, do that. Yeah. I'm going to stay here. This okay. is where the winners are going to sit. Yeah, for the challenge. whatever. And the losers head that way. I'm going to go this way then. Okay, that's fine. Okay. You're that way. Good luck. See you later. Good luck, Chris. Cheers. Before I begin, I'm going to have a quick look and see what an unlimited budget would get me. Because that's always fun. Nice car, but it's only a two door. Three door, two door, couple of doors. How many doors is on that? Oh, the handles are there, it's a four door, yeah. Or five door. Don't really know how many doors cars have these days. So if I had unlimited budget right now as a family car. Right, I think I think I know. I think I know what I want. I think I know what I want. But I wanna know what I wanna know what Chris is thinking. That's a big thing. What is Hoy thinking right now? Back to the challenge. I'm getting distracted here. You could spend hours on this website, it's fun. What does Chris Hoy want? What's Hoy thinking about? No, he's not thinking about that. I guarantee he's not thinking about that. Mm, fuel types. I'll put petrol and diesel and hybrid. It definitely said 15 minutes on this, this sheet. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Duncan will be getting furious that I'm spending so long on here. This is the longest 15 minutes of my life. Sorry. Um, there's one here that looks absolutely perfect for me. Um, maybe the colour is not my first choice, but apart from that, I think this would be a great family car. Plenty of space, great on the long journeys in the motorway. Looks pretty cool too, I think. Um, but I need to drive it and see, see what it's like on the road. Okay then, Chris, here we see the big reveal. You see exactly what I've got, and I now see what you've got. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yours is um, very, it's very there. I, I've gone a little bit more reserved, hiding in plain sight, whereas you're like, look at me, baby. Yeah, I, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't have chosen red as my first color, but in the metal, I think it looks really stunning, yeah, and nice. it contrasts well with the black accents, the wheels, the grill, the wing mirrors. The, win the window surrounds, it looks, I think, looks great. It's an Audi, it's, it's, it's it does a, exactly what it says. It's quality, yeah. a lot of car for the money, it's a two litre diesel, it's full leather interior, it's got Bose speakers. Did it come in under budget? It did. What did you come in at? Uh, I think it was mid-18s, okay. something. Okay, yeah. okay. What about you? 17. Okay. 17 yeah. for my Mazda yeah. 3, nice. which is a 1.8 diesel, Sky Active diesel. Yep. It's got twin exhausts. Clutching at straws here, but I do like it. It's, it's nice. The Mazda have come a long way in a very short time with their kind of design philosophy. Yep. It's kind of Jaguar esque with you know an XE style. I think you're right. The design direction they've gone in with the modern Mazdas, they've hit the nail on the head. I think it looks great. It's you know a hatchback for me. I'd need a, probably a bigger car, but yeah, I think you've done well. It's got a heads-up display. Have you got that? I don't, but you know I can. One look nil dunk. There's a, there's a dial in front. I can look down at that. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. One nil you know. for me. You know, I've also got a nice infotainment system in mind. Mine's yeah. a 20 plate car as yeah. well. So yours is 2018. 2018. So it's another one for dunk. Well, Something well you say here. that. You say that, but you know, it's timeless. I think the interior here is very stylish. I, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the the touchscreen infotainment systems. It's all. I I think actually sometimes older is better. Well, you know, I'm not going to argue with you there because I do like a, a pretty straightforward button to push. It does make it easy, and you know, it's an Audi. It's stunning. I'm not mm -hmm. giving your car a hard time, but I just think. <laughs> My car's better, and you are going to want to change come the end of this. I'm going to make sure that happens. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. 
Shall we drive my car first? Let's do it. Okay, yeah. let's go. Good luck, by the way. You're yeah. going to you're gonna need it. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your first impressions then? Um, it's okay. It's comfortable. I'm sitting as low as I can go. I've got the steering wheel quite high. I like that. I like the dash setup. I like the heads up display. It's got a nice armrest here. Footrest is good. First impressions are okay. It's, it's quite tight. Still feels relatively modern, but it's not. Whoa, that'll be the clutch pedal off. It's not driven a manual for a while, he says. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, sorry about that. This, so we've got the 1800 diesel for us here, which is okay. Sky Active D, which is the Sky Active, I had to ask what that actually is. It's a, a suspension type that it's okay. got, so it does make it nice and pliable. Alloy wheels, front and back obviously, discs all round, yep. twin exhausts, styling features of the car look pretty nice. Yes. Uh, brakes feel nice. For a second hand car, brakes are nice. How many miles has she done? Can we see that? There you go. 18,000 miles. 387 to be precise. Yeah, steering wheels can make or break a car's, the ergonomics of a car for me. It's quite a big wheel though, I'll give you that, you know, it's quite big. Maybe a flat bottom to it would have been nicer. Do yeah. you like a flat bottom? I prefer a nice round, I was going to say a nice round bottom, a nice round wheel, um, not a flat bottom one. Okay. The flat bottom one, it depends if it's for racing or on track and you need the clearance for your knees. Yeah, I, do, I, I like a flat bottom on a race car, I'll give you that. But. I also agree with you, I prefer a nice round bottom as well. Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, mm. and for today only, with Duncan Vincent. Indeed. In tiny letter. It is, I mean, I still, I still get the, joking apart, I get blown away by the fact we've got an indoor facility in Scotland. When, from the whole of my career, and this was built the year I retired, but for the whole of my cycling career, we were fighting to try and get to even like a tin roof on the top of Meadowbank Velodrome yeah. in Edinburgh. It never happened. We just wanted it somewhere that you could train and compete 12 months of the year. You can't race on a wet track, a wet velodrome. And the track was shut in September and open again in April. And so you'd only get on it six months of the year. Right, yeah. So now we yes. have a, a facility that you can host world champs, world cups, international competitions. It's amazing. Check this park and see how parallel it's you can get it. Absolutely bang smack in there. I mean, that, that's just me. Okay, there we go. Nailed it. Let's jump out and have a quick look. Engine off. It stops and I take my foot off the clutch. Oh no, it doesn't. Let's swap. In gear. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now that. <laughs> yeah, not bad from the passenger seat. I gave you a little bit more room to get out because you're, you know. Let's, should we jump in the back and see how much space we get? You want some back seat action? I don't know if we can actually. Yeah, I won't even. I wouldn't get in there. Oh no, neither you would. Yeah. Yeah, no. I think your son's going to struggle. Yeah, it's not. Actually, How's it looking from your side? It's, I've got something poking in my bum. Yeah. The flag. That's an additional extra. But it's, it's um, height yeah. rooms open. The, yeah, the you've just open. got a space. Oh, it's got an armrest. My kids would like that. But that's, because you've got long legs, that's yeah. not going to work for the family, is it? Yeah, you've got a little challenge there. Bit of privacy glass, isn't it? Oh, I've had my fun. Mm -hmm. It's now your turn to drive my choice. You ready? I hope you are. Let's yeah, go. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Right. All set. Okay, let's go. go. Uh, probably the way we came in. Handbrake. Is it auto on or? Macarena. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so you know where you're going? Uh, no. Do you know what? Initial impressions, clutch is light, gear shift isn't too bad, it's quite positive, quite nice and notchy. Driving position's good. It does feel Reasonable quality, like the, 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 it's not too plasticky. There's enough leather to make it feel premium. You can, you can admit that I've got a good choice. Should we give it a name? Well, I think you should. You should christen it. It's your, it's your choise Macarena. Macarena. Yeah, because it makes that macarena noise when you hit the auto hold. Boop. Macarena. Don't know any other words in that song apart no. from macarena. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll give you that one. Hey, macarena. You know what I did like about it as well was the visibility. What, like, what do you see? The mirror is big enough to see the back window. Yeah, good, good visibility. Um, you feel that you, you can get a quick sense of how big the car is. Quite often, it's difficult to tell where the wheels are on a car, which sounds silly. But for parking, for placing it, for not curbing it, I think it's, it's, I think it's an easy car to drive. I've only just driven out the car park, but already you feel quite familiar with yeah, it. I mean, you saw how well I parked it, so it was right in the middle of the bay. Yeah, you know, you did have a, a whole car park. And <laughs> Is it special enough to warrant spending your 19,000 pounds on? That'll be my question, I suppose, that 
you know, £19,000 might be the average amount of money to spend on a car these days, but it's still a lot of money. Yeah. And therefore, when you spend that kind of cash, for me, you want something that's a little bit more, gives you, gives you a bit more of a tingle when you push the button and unlock it and sit down into your car and you think, wow, this is pretty cool. You look at home there. It feels familiar. That's good then. Yeah, and it's not, it's not pin yourself in the back of the seat powerful, but it's not sluggish by any stretch. This car makes you want to drive smoothly and you, it relaxes you. So it kind of changes your driving style. Yeah, it makes you, it just makes you relax and it makes you want to, I think, just take your time. It does seem quite chilled and, and you can obviously, I can tell you've driven an Audi before because you, you seem right at home. Everything's good for you. The clutch control feels quite good yeah. for you as well. I mean, I know every car is different in that, but generally you know what a car is going to be like yeah. to get in it if you've had one for a long time yeah. driven it. Cycling, competitively, or racing cars? In terms of joy, fun? Whatever, what's the best? Oh, they're two different things. It's like picking your favourite child. You haven't done that? <laughs> yeah. Just me? I just don't tell him that, but. Um, cycling was everything, so I threw everything at it, it was the centre of your universe and every decision you made, every every choice you made was about will this help or will it, will it impact on my recovery, you know, what, when's the next training session, what's the next competition, it's all you thought about and I had, a, I loved it and but it was it was super intense and you can never replace that but the motorsport has allowed me to continue doing stuff competitively and still enjoy it but without having the massive the, the pressure and the burden of the result has to match up to the, the input that you're putting into it. You know, if, you, if you put all that effort in and you don't get the result you're hoping for, it can be really like, devastating, really. Good choice. I'm looking forward Thank to you. driving it, but good, yeah, I good think, choice, mate. I think you're going to enjoy it. It's, yeah, it is a lot of car for the money, I think. Engine off, leave it in gear for you so we don't roll down the hill. Obviously, we're sitting in a flat car park. Yes, thank you. I like it. You've done good. You have done good. Thank you. Sitting this side to sit in the passenger seat is good fun. It's nice, nice smooth drive. Oh yeah, you get lots of legroom, don't you? It's good, yeah. Let's uh, pull that back. I like the. Oh, oh. How'd you turn her down? I'm going to move over because this chap's yeah. trying to get that lane. Yeah. I'm being a courtesy, courteous driver. I'm going to say someone else there. <laughs> Yeah. I'm being a what? <laughs> Again, comfortable driving position, right? Yeah. Um, it's the same as the Mazda 3 for me. It's got this high yeah. bit in the middle for your arm. Yeah. The gear lever's got a short throw in it. Yeah. The box feels nice. Yeah. I like the kind of Alcantara mixed with leather. It does feel premium. You've used that word quite a few times to me now. Premium. Yeah, in this car and never in the Mazda. Mm. There is a difference in cars, obviously. The Mazda. I think Japanese cars have always had that more plasticky effect. Subarus, Toyotas. You know the Mazda; they all kind of feel that way. Whereas this, even even though this yeah. does have a synthetic um, dash and everything, but it doesn't feel cheap. What I do like about this is the road noise is very, very minimal. Yeah. There's not even on the bumpy roads, even on the rough surfaces, it gives you a nice kind of smooth gliding ride. Yeah. Which the the Mazda didn't really do that. It was a little bit more edgy. But I guess that's the character of a, of a hatchback. It is a bit more nimble and a bit more. You're kind of you're always doing something. Whereas this, you feel like you could float along with the torque of the engine as well. Mm. You're not having to change gear quite as much. I'll just, let's see how far back this goes, just to see how comfortable it gets. Oh, joking apart, that is like a proper first-class seat in a. Not oh, pardon me. <laughs> Here comes the baked potato. That is amazing. <laughs> that is genuinely. You could properly have a a power nap. So say you're doing a long journey, yeah. pulling the services. Get the heated seats on. Oh, Six lovely. hours later, you yeah, wake up. exactly. Where am I? It's pitch black. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Falling asleep. Oh, Missed your appointment. Okay then, Chris. This is where we come back to the studio set and we see and we'll have a chat about what we've actually got. We've driven both, mm -hmm. and I've enjoyed both cars. They've been great fun to drive. Yeah. For me personally, I like the Mazda. I like the size of the Mazda and I like the colour of the Mazda. It's great. It fits everything that I would really want. However, you did point out a bit of a flaw where I'm not going to get my kids in the back. Once we get comfortable, the seats are a little bit too far back for us. Yeah. So ultimately for me, if your car was my colour, 
I would have that. I do like the Audi. Everything that we said the Audi would do, did. Comfortable, easy to drive, gives you great feel. And unfortunately for me, I think I almost have to say that I would like the Audi over the Mazda. Wow, exciting. I mean, you know, I did tell you at the start that's what you would think, but I, you know, I, I didn't think I would warm to the, the Mazda as much as I did. I thought it was a cracking car. Love the look of it, love, this, love the silver exterior color, the styling, the front end, the back end, it looks cool without being too much of a try hard, you know, it just, it's, it looks right, but, 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 I just can't look beyond the ID. Yeah. You know, for the money, I think you get a lot more, it's got a little bit more mileage, but because it's a strong diesel engine, you know, this could do double that easily yeah. without even stressing it. It's, there's more space, there's just that more, slightly more executive, premium luxury feel and size. I think it looks great. The color isn't my favorite. It wouldn't be my first choice, but I think that's the only thing I could criticize it for. You did warn me. You did say that I was going I to did. fall for the Audi. I you did. know, I tried to sell the Mazda as, as much as I could for you, mm -hmm. but ultimately, once you actually drive that car, lovely. And for the money, both cars are fabulous mm -hmm. cars to drive. I've got to say that the Mazda still gives a great feedback, great feeling, but I have to say, I will change my one to the Audi. So congratulations, oh, thank Chris. Thank you very Roy. much. Well, I think, do you know what? It's, there's no losers today because we get to play with you know, two fantastic cars, have a look on the website. I guess there's probably thousands of other cars we could have driven today which would have been equally fun to drive, but, um, but it's been a blast. So yeah, thanks and yeah. No problem, thank Good. you very much. And we'll have to try and do this next month if we get maybe double, triple the budget. Yeah, 100K, 100K budget yeah. would be perfect. I think we'll speak to the, the management and see if they can make that happen.